since I figured out finally how to make gluten-free lasagna, Matt turned out to be Garfield. And he's just eating lasagna. Morning, lunch, dinner, midnight snacks, it's just lasagna. So I made a ton of lasagna, I froze it, and he can help himself. One thing though, which I haven't really explored is, which gluten-free lasagna sheet is actually really tasty. And by now you know, I like to figure out what is a very good gluten-free product. So I'm gonna put three gluten-free lasagna sheets to the test today. gluten-free lasagna sheets which is a British company then I have Kalkin gluten-free lasagna sheets and from Orgran and if I look at the different ingredients I know the ingredients are somewhere by the way this is from Australia and it's made with 79% of Australian ingredients it's rice and corn. Kalkin is an Irish company and it's corn and rice flour as well. And Tesco is made with rice and corn flour. So apparently gluten-free lasagna sheets are mainly made out of white rice flour or corn flour. Now, none of them say you need pre-cooking, but I don't trust it. Seriously, I don't trust it. I don't wanna have spend an hour making my different sauces and then bite into a lasagna which is not well cooked. So certainly none of them tells me how long to pre-cook them. So I'm assuming it's 10 minutes. Most pasta is 10 minutes. So here's my boiling water and I'm gonna add some oil. I know there's some discussion should you put oil into the water or not. I'm just gonna put it in. And I'm going to put in now my calcin sheet. It comes all like sort of pre-packaged. I'm going to put it now into the pot. And here's my Australian lasagna sheet. And they're much smaller. The household simple cheap lasagna leaves from Tesco. I'm going to add now my Tesco lasagna sheet, but I'm going to break it in half just that I can differentiate the calcin sheet from the Tesco sheet. Okay, I'm going to wait now for 10 minutes. Okay, the pasta should be pre-cooked and I'm ready to fish them out. So this is my Tesco, my Calcon. My Australian is kind of falling apart on me. Now the most important thing, the taste test. So when I'm cutting the Tesco one, it's a little bit resistant. It's not bad, it's a bit chewy. The texture of the Kalkin one is definitely a bit better. Hands down, the Australian is the winner. It's a little bit thicker, has a nice little bit of a chew to it. It's pretty good. So I would go with the Australian one. The Tesco one is the least convincing one. If you're making lasagna though and are pre-cooking your lasagna sheets, there are a few small little tricks. One thing with gluten-free lasagna sheets is, especially when you pre-cook them, is that they stick on times together. Check this out. So I normally take the tongue and try to separate them. Chopsticks work as well. I never have that problem with regular lasagna sheets. I guess that's the reason why they often say don't pre-cook them. But then I often had like really raw lasagna sheets. I wasn't able to separate all of them, but at least most of them. They broke down a little bit, but that's okay. Nobody will notice it when you eat the lasagna. Once in a while I want to steal the pasta. So my lasagna leaves are done. And I do want to pour off now my pasta in the sink. And you can see some of the lasagna sheets really fell apart. 
You can still make lasagna dough with those broken sheets. All I'm saying, it still works. The same process, I put the bolognese sauce on the bottom. And now I'm gonna assemble my broken lasagna sheets. And I still rather have broken pre-cooked lasagna sheets than a raw lasagna. So I'm gonna create sort of a crisscross pattern with the broken lasagna sheets and then add my bechamel sauce. It makes sense though that the Australian company makes much smaller lasagna sheets. Um, they don't tend to fall apart that much. Here's my crisscross pattern on my assembly of broken lasagna sheets and I'm gonna add a little bit of my bolognese sauce, add some cheese and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. So I made this video a while back and since I always have to dry things out, I actually made the lasagna without pre-cooking my lasagna sheet. I definitely tried it out. And you know what? It actually worked. One small little trick though is, if you don't pre-cook your lasagna sheets, make your bechamel sauce or your bolognese sauce a little bit thinner so the sheets can actually soak up that water. And then your lasagna will be fine. Who knew? For years I pre-cooked them and I, it took so much work. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!